Okay, hello everybody. I'm Mrs. Eileen Toh from Genius Plus Academy. So have a look at the question on the screen. This is the question that has been circulating since this afternoon after the PSIE math paper. So we are going to look at this question tonight and how to solve it. Okay, let's look at the question. Helen and Ivan had the same number of coins. And they told us that Helen had a number of 50 cent coins and 64 20 cent coins. And Ivan had a number of 50 cent coins and 104 20 cent coins. You notice that they don't tell us the number of 50 cent coins for each person. Helen's or Ivan's, we do not know the number of 50 cent coins. So we only know, okay, 50 cent coins we don't know. We only know the number of 20 cent coins. So what I will do, okay, we will look at the question and see what the question wants. The question wants us to find out who has more money and how much more. Okay, so that's why this sentence that is in red here, okay, is only helpful in part B. Okay, so let's look at part A first. Who has more money? So first, I will draw the model to show the number of coins. So I'm going to put in, this is the number of coins for Helen, for Ivan. So for Helen, it will be 64. For Ivan, it will be 104. And based on this, we can actually go and find, okay, how much more. Ivan had. Okay, how many more 20 cent coins Ivan had? So 104 minus 64 is 40. So we know that Ivan had 40 more, okay, 20 cent coins compared to Helen. And based on the model, you can see this part that I just outlined. This is the number of 50 cent coins Helen had. And this is the number of 20 cent, uh, 50 cent coins Ivan had. So from here, we know that because they had the same number of coins and Helen had more 50 cent coins compared to Ivan, then Helen would be the one that has more money. But now, how can we find how much more? So just now you have seen what I did, okay? We found out the number of 50 cent coins. This is the number of 50 cent coins, okay? I'm going to put in number of 50 cent coins. This is the number of 50 cent coins that Ivan had. So you notice something you notice that difference is also 40 coins. So we are going to zoom into this part because this is the part that is different between the Ivan and Helen because the 40 coins that Helen had here is 50 cents. But the 40 coins that Ivan had here, this part here, is 20 cent coins. So of course, there will be a difference between the amount of money that both of them had. So this 40 is very crucial, okay? So let's find out. One, this is 50 cents, okay? And this is a 20 cent coin. Okay, so what's the difference? The difference would be 30 cents. So every 150 cent and every 120 cent, the difference is 30 cents. And we have 40 of those coins, okay? So 40 of those coins and 40 times of that difference, the difference is... 30 cents, right? So that will give us $12. Then we solve the first part. Okay, let's go to the second part. Part B. Given that each 50 cent coin is 2.7 gram heavier than a 20 cent coin, what is the mass of Ivan's coin in kilogram? So if I were to draw, okay, the, the mass of both person, Ivan and Helen. So this is Helen, this is Ivan. Because Helen had more 50 cent coins, same as the value. So, of course, the value will be more than Ivan's coins. And for mass, because 50 cent coins weigh heavier than 20 cent coins, then Helen's mass of coins will be heavier. And they told us that in the question is 1.134 kg. So, our job is to find out how heavy Ivan's coins weigh. So, now, as we know that Okay, every 50 cent coin is 2.7 grams heavier than a 20 cent coin. We know this. So I'm going to show you. We know that this 64 20 cent coins from Helen is the same as this 64 20 cent coins from Ivan. And we know that this number of 50 cent coins from Helen is the same as the number of 50 cent coins from Ivan. The only part that we need to zoom in to look at will be this 40 again. So because of the 40, 50 cent coins that Helen had, okay, and the 40, 20 cent coins that Ivan had, that causes the difference in terms of mass. So we want to find out what the difference is. 
So we know that the 40 coins are the one that causes the difference. And the difference between 150 cent coins and 120 cent coins is 2.7 grams. So that will give us 108 grams. Okay, so this part we have found out is 108 grams. And because the question asks you in terms of kg, we will change the 108 grams into 0 0.108 kg. And to find Ivan, we simply just find the difference between Helen's mass, 1.134 kg minus away, okay, 0 0.108 kg, that will give us 1.026 kg. That's how we find the answer for part B. That's all for tonight. Thank you. Bye-bye.